Scientists have studied and tagged sharks for decades in an effort to understand their mysterious behavior. However, a group of experts were shocked when one of their research subjects completely vanished. The healthy 9-foot great white had been tagged by researchers to keep track of its movements for a study, however, four months later, the black box washed up on a beach in Australia. According to the device's data, there was a sudden, sharp 1,902-foot drop and a rapid rise in temperature from 7.6 C to 25.5 C. The temperatures that were recorded indicate that the shark entered another animal's digestive system, according to the researchers, who believed that the data demonstrated that it was eaten by something much larger. The Smithsonian Institute's hunt for the super predator, which was inspired by an earlier Australian film called The Search for the Ocean Super Predator, went into great detail about the case. In 2014, filmmaker Dave Riggs stated, When I was first told about the data that came back from the tag that was on the shark, I was absolutely blown away. The question that not only came to my mind, but everyone's mind who was involved was what did that? It was obviously eaten. What's going to eat a shark that big? What could kill a 9-foot great white? Scientists appear to be able to put an end to bizarre plots involving a massive sea monster. But what is responsible is just as shocking. The baffling cases investigators described it as a colossal cannibal great white shark. They were finally able to guess the identity of the enigmatic killer. Only after further investigation of the migration patterns of the great whites that entered the region where the nine-footer was killed. The researchers asserted that all of the tracking data from the lost shark matched the results of their research. Both of these great whites were migrating at the same temperature, and the cannibal great white shark, which is estimated to be 16 feet in length and weighs more than two tons, could easily achieve the same speed and trajectory as the tracking device. Experts offered theories about how a larger shark might have been attacked, which would explain why a smaller shark would become a meal. They speculated that it might have been an attack brought on by hunger or a territorial dispute. However, in the end, they settled on a response that is difficult to dispute. Small sharks are eaten by big sharks. Experts have grown increasingly concerned about the possibility of the great white shark going extinct. With the extinction of the apex predators, they claim, the Atlantic Ocean's environment would collapse. Due to a decrease in sea otters that consume the urchins, California's underwater kelp forests have almost disappeared as a result of an increase in kelp-eating urchins. This is putting the area's natural food chain in jeopardy, which could collapse completely if great whites don't have any prey to eat. In 2019, Jacksonville University doctoral professor Brian Franks stated, You would lose stability, but there are so many variables involved that it's hard to predict. Their prey would increase, resulting in the extinction of that third-level species. But this is difficult to model. The otters, urchins, and kelp are the classic examples. Thank you for watching. Please like the video and subscribe. See you soon.